A rare and deadly syndrome and cases are growing right here in Maryland. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Coke. We've been telling you about multi-system inflammatory syndrome. The coronavirus-linked disease has been sickening children across the country, but now it is also showing up in young adults. And WJZ is live. Stetson Miller has more on what parents need to be on the lookout for here. Stetson. Rick and Denise, doctors initially thought children were mostly spared from COVID-19, but now this illness is showing up in more and more kids, and now even in some young adults. This is a very newly recognized syndrome. The Maryland Department of Health is now reporting six cases of the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, a rare illness linked to the coronavirus. Now, not only is it being seen in kids and teens, but also some in their 20s. Dr. Kwang Sik Kim at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine says doctors are still learning more about the illness. All the detailed information are still missing. Patients are showing up with features similar to Kawasaki disease. Rash, eyes get red, palms and sores, got some red and swollen. Other symptoms include fever, abdominal pain, and vomiting. It first emerged overseas and then in New York, where at least 157 possible cases are being investigated and three children have died. This inflammatory syndrome is more frightening than COVID respiratory illness in some ways because it inflames the heart. 15-year-old Dariana Dyson of Baltimore County died last week because of complications from the coronavirus and suffered from multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Her mother said it all happened so quickly, going from one moment being a healthy teenager to the next on a ventilator in the hospital. They call it a time, 12-12. The Maryland Department of Health is investigating additional reports of the illness. The severe effects from it are rare, but health experts stress that the disease shouldn't be taken lightly. It can affect the heart muscle. Um, so they're going into signs of heart failure, so having trouble breathing. And if a parent notices that, then they should call 911. And to learn more about other symptoms of this inflammatory syndrome, head to WJZ.com. Live in Federal Hill, Stetson Miller for WJZ.